okay, so I hurt my shoulder, my right shoulder at work, um, reaching out for something, and then I turned away, and it just did yeah, it made, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> and uh, your range of motion, you just show me when the tightness starts coming. So you can really feel it there from there. That, right that crack, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So anything, okay. anything sort of past here. Yeah. So from there upwards, it's, yeah. so it's you tight. Can, you can feel that the tightness starts to come in over. Right. So there, that, yeah, right? From, from there upwards. So, yeah. okay, what's happening now? So because. And my shoulder feels looking very Looking from tight. the angle, right? It feels very tight. Looking from the angle of the clavicle, you can see that, right at this point, and down right down to the sternum. Your shoulder here is a lot, in fact, is the ideal should be a little bit lower, yours is a bit higher. Yeah. So, which means that your humerus, which is this the arm, the bone on the arm, the top, is a bit elevated. So, it's hitting against the, what we call the chromium. So, the, there's a narrowing of the chromium space. That feels so, very tight there. So, when, I, when you start lifting up the arm, it starts to jam up from there. See, from this, it's still it, yeah. okay. And when it comes up, uh, pop, yeah, it goes yeah, there, yeah. right? You feel that? So it means that your okay, what controls the movement of this joint is the, the big muscle is on the your back. scapula yeah, is yeah. called the, the shoulder blade and the scapula mm -hmm. and that's your rotator cuff. The rotator cuff controls the movement of the humerus. So there is a what we call a rotational axis of the humerus. It's not supposed to be moving all over the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's happening now is that it's hitting up. So it's, this is not controlling it, so it's hitting up against the top of the bone. It's not holding it. It's not holding it down okay. and rotating on its axis. Okay? See that, where your thumb is? Yeah, just that's there. the guy. That's I really the guy. feel yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And there is where this muscle crosses underneath the chromium uh, okay. into that muscle. It's called the supraspinatus, which helps with outward rotation of the shoulder. Yeah. And next to it is your is the sulcus, which mm. there's your bicep tendon. Yeah. I feel that? Yeah, oh I feel yeah. that. So this two will get it. Okay? I can feel so what that. I gotta do is to uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to open up that spacing over there first, okay? So what helps to open up that spacing a few things. Okay, I'm gonna work on See yeah, this is the back one, okay? That seems so yeah. tight. Yeah, because it's trying to control it. So you're gonna move your head over from here, over here, just tilt, and then turn your head and look down. Okay, let's do the same thing again. Go again, go. Back up again, go. Still lean against towards me a little bit. Yeah, go. Go again there. Extension, flexion, rotation towards the left, and look downwards. Yeah, good. Come back up. Go. Flexion, go. Back down. Good. Back up again. Turn again, again, go. It's easy now, it's easy now, it's easy now. Is that painful? Okay, what I'm going to do... Is that painful? It feels so tight. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so when you do that, that's where I feel it. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. And then the first thing, the angle of the scale. Okay, what's going to happen now? I'm going to open up the cap. You're going to get, I'm going to put my palm here. You can put your arm behind you. Arm behind you, oh, arm. Use your right hand to pull your arm across to the wardrobe opposite. Space. Come back up again. Go again. Grab my back here. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I can also feel that the ligament is still a little bit injured. Okay, back up. So the all the whole thing, the ligament is still tightening up. Okay, go back in again. Go. This is the most I've moved my arm and shoulder yeah, in no, weeks. No, no, no move across. Yeah. And I'm just moving the ligament a little bit. Feel the ligament right there? Yeah. I'm just leading up because it seems to be quite contracted. I'm just waiting for it to release now. Does it just do that to sort of protect it? And yeah, so yeah, so it's just so a protective moving. mechanism. Yeah, I can feel that, yeah, that's the one. Okay, back up. 
It's right there. Just, book, just right there. there. I gotta release that other ligament. There are three ligaments over there. I need to release. Okay, go back in here. Go. Turn. This guy, right there. Hold it a bit. Okay, now, it's not done yet, but you raise your arm. Try. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is the most I've been able to move my yeah, arm. Because weeks. the ligaments were all protected. Yeah, yeah. They were trying to protect them. Does that, that hurt? Why. Does that hurt? No, that's not it. Can I just stand yeah, sure. So the other one I was struggling with was yeah. out to the side to there. Yeah. So that I feel a little you bit through the back. Yes. And this is not in done the shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Because the scapula is not very stable yet. That's amazing. But this one on the front, you don't feel it as much as in the No, right, it's, right? it's not that's as great. not as tight through here. What's going to happen? So what I'm going to do is that uh, usually when, uh, because of the anterior translation of the humerus, the back part of the muscle is trying to fight it, okay, but yeah. it's not very stable. So I've got to try to release some of the muscles because they're all trying to fight, so there are some adhesions at the back over here. So you rightly have some capsular issues which I will try to correct, okay? Thank you. So what's going to happen? Okay, you're going to, ro you're going to rotate it down, okay? And then you're going to use your left arm, you're going to bring it across the body, okay? Just rotate as much as you can, okay? Okay. So I'm going to grab your yeah. deltoids. Yeah. I'm going to get the rotator cut to slide underneath the deltoids. Go. <laughs> it down. Rotate oh, down. Geez. So I'm right on the capsule now. Okay. Right on the capsule. Okay. Rotate, 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 rotate. Rotate, rotate down. Rotate oh, down. Rotate that down. Rotate that down. Okay, so that's strange. the next, yeah? Rotate. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, from there, I'm going to change the tension a little bit. In free, uh, Medially and go across the body. Across the body. Yeah. Don't lose that rotation, huh? Don't lose that rotation. Okay, go across the body. Use the other arm to pull across the body. Good. Pull. 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 Okay, good. Now, raise up on the side again. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Not lose that, right? Yeah. Uh, much looser, yeah. Yeah, it still it still feels a little, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But considering that's just the first go, that's yeah, yeah, pretty good. Okay, you're gonna put your okay. What's gonna happen now? You're gonna hold your head in this position. Use your hand to hold it right there. This yeah. position, yeah. Just turn your head. Just hold like it there and pull it this this way. Okay, give me an arm. Just give me an arm. It's gonna get your arm behind you. Okay, cool. Arm behind you. I'm just going to try to get the supraspinatus to slide underneath the traps because the traps are all overworking. Feel that? Yeah. Okay. Which is the one across the top. Yeah, right there. Right yeah, there. Yeah, that's right there. Feel that right yeah, there? Yeah, that's tight, yeah. It's right there. It's a bit stuck over there. Right there. Hold it. Okay, can we try again? Side. Out to the side. It should be a lot better now. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, now. Ah, what's that one? Ah. Okay, this one is, uh, yeah, because this one, because. That's tight. What's happening that now? Because the rotator cuff is a bit uh, hyperactive, so I need to ease it off, okay? Okay. So, what you're going to do is simple, same thing. You're just going to rotate down, you're going to rotate up, okay? Okay. In fact, I might. I'm just going to. Uh, Never mind, as if from this position, you're just going to go straight up, okay? Just going to go straight up. Just straight just, up. Just relax. There you go. Straight up. Whoa! Up, 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 <laughs> straight up, all the way up, reach for the ceiling. Try the ceiling, reach for the ceiling. Just walking on the twin first knee, just back down. Go. Ow! Come back in. <laughs> that really yeah, hurts. Go, go. Yeah, because it's all hyperactive. It's, so it's, a, bit so it's a bit sensitive now. Oh. Okay, back in. So yeah, back up. Oh, I feel like pulling against it, yeah. So to reduce hyperactivity, usually there are other methods I use, like needles, but like, then I back up. So it's not so sore on the client, but the ART can do the trick as well. Especially if a person is quite I don't mind a bit of pain. To I don't mind a bit of pain, as long as it works. <laughs> and just, people have some fear of needles. Okay, come on. Just try again. Just put your wrist up again. It feels a lot easier now. Yeah. 
Yeah, so before I was having real trouble yeah. coming back down with it. Yeah. Yeah. It was really, yeah. felt really funny through the top of my yeah. arm yeah. and around here. Yeah. How's it feeling coming down now? It's, it's definitely better. Yeah, yeah, definitely better. Yeah, I've not done one more. Keep lying your back. This is the one that's going to be of uh, a lot of help because I'm just going to release the, the core cut process quickly. I'm going to work on the pack miner because this is the one that's going to compensate. Oh, you can feel that it's quite tight over there. Very. Yeah, so it's also locked up, the pack miner. So I can also feel that through yeah, that yeah, bit of Yeah, yeah, the finger, right? Yeah. Yeah, so his nerve is a little bit caught as well. Wow, chuck nerve too, yeah. jeez. Yeah, it's a bit jammed up here, feel that? Yeah, definitely feel that. <laughs> It's so hard to relax it though, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay, what's, what's, what's going to happen? I'm just going to do a, a special maneuver just to get the nerve to move out. I want to head over to this side. Okay. So this is something which I'm not, I rarely show on video. Okay, but it's okay. Okay, what's going to happen? I'm just going to move your head on this side. I'm just going to lengthen. Okay, here. Okay, I'll see you move, you move back. Okay, okay. Okay, and then you're going to raise your shoulders up. Okay, so I'm going to lengthen this one. I'm going to lengthen this. I'm going to go in this position. Just going to close up your fingers. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go in an external rotation. And what's going to happen when I ask you to come up, you're going to extend out. Open up the fingers and the crown, you're going to move back. Feel that? Feel that? Oh, yeah. Right there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a bit caught, okay? So you're going to move it, just thumb in, thumb in, close up. So I'm doing a medium nerve floss in this way. Right there. Yeah, slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, I know. It's right there. I'm going to go up next to the coracle pectoral tunnel. Okay. Your head. Your head is going to, they're just going to, but. Okay, you're going to just come down. You're going to elevate the shoulder. Extend out the tongue. You can go in. Extend out the fingers. Stretch it out, open up fingers in the tongue. Right there. Okay. Oh, so tight. Yeah, getting the median nerve to get out underneath the coracle pectoral tunnel. And then, I'm going to change my angle. I'm going to go from the top of, feel that right there? Yep. Right there. Around the clavicle, you're gonna put it there. You're gonna come back. Keep the elbows up. Okay, now you're gonna move your head the other side. See you move it this way, this way. And then you're gonna drop the shoulders down. And get a stretch over there. Just drop the shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Just drop the shoulders there. You can keep your arm down, it's fine. And just move your head over to the left. To the left. To, yeah, there. Just tension over there. Feel that? Mm. So I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna go just to get water on I'm gonna do one more. So that's just gonna press it out. It's a lot better though. God, it's most movement I've seen. Yeah, it's a lot smoother. Okay. Mm. That's the just most I've moved my arm. Mm -hmm. Weeks and weeks. Yeah. Let's get up here, try. Razor. This is razor, huh? Well, it was a lot smaller through that. Yeah. So does that you feel a little bit of a, a crunch yeah. as it comes yeah. up just yeah. there? But there's a lot. Just now you could hear the crunch immediately. Yeah, yeah. Like a crack. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's much different. Yeah. Okay. The only bit I can feel is a little bit through yeah, the top. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Because it's still definitely a little it's bit, tight. but it's definitely about 80% better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Thank you so much. Actually, you need another session or so just to release it. But. I think as long as you do your stretches, like yep. your, stretch, your stretches, as well as your, this, you gotta hold this for a couple of minutes, two or three times a day. So you're just trying to stretch this yeah, piece stretch out the, the, the traps, yeah. and then you gotta stretch your chest up. This way, just against the wall, you know, against the wall, and just stretch the chest up. This way, you feel that stretch? Yeah. 
Yeah. What's the, be, what's the best way to do that? That stretch. Against the wall. Against the wall. Like that. Use yeah. that and then push yeah. through it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you gotta do that every day, right? Well, now that's what I can do for you. Thank All you. Right, so, thank you so much. <laughs>